you know what? We since day one, we've pretty much done it our way. I mean, we started off sending demos to every record label you could think of, and like I said, our lyrics and content were country influenced with hip hop beats put to that those lyrics. We mailed them out. We put them together. We printed them on Kinko. Sent them out. No callbacks. We try to get a call. We bug them on the phone. You know, our stuff was just getting thrown in the trash. And from that point on, we're just like, you know what? Let's do it our way. We're not going to worry about radio. We're not going to worry about MTV. If that comes our way, of course, it'd be a great thing. But then we just took that point on and we just went boom, boom, boom. And just kept doing things our own way and expanding and doing the grassroots campaign and using social media. YouTube's been huge for us and reaching our fans that way. And I think we were able to build a loyal fan base from, from that. I mean, our fan base is really loyal. Yeah. Like if I had, we call them Shiner Nation, they're Shiners. And if I had 10 of them and asked them, will you guys steal that car for me? Eight of them will do it and the other two will bail them out. That's, <laughs> I mean, it's a true story. Sure. They have, there's thousands of tattoos. And just yeah. 52-year-old 52 52 year guy just got Shiner Nation on his forehead. I think there's that's, also that's dedication. That's there's also a little wild. too much dedication. But yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. There was also a moment too back in our early stages of our career. I mean, where we've had so many people tell us no and so many doors shut in our career that it kind of made us hard. It hardened us up to become. You know, we want to do this on our own. But there was a moment when it was just Eminem and Bubba Sparks. Bubba Sparks had just came out. Me and Tex were sitting in Universal's office in L.A. And we were having a meeting, and they were sitting there wanting to sign us. And had that deal been done, the Moonshine Bandits today probably wouldn't be the Moonshine Bandits today. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that that deal didn't happen now. Look, back then, I was like, we were so bummed. Oh, we had this opportunity, and we had a, a representative there with us that possibly didn't know what he was doing. And I'm glad he didn't, because it forced us to take the dirt roads and the side roads and build this from a grassroots campaign because I don't need radio, I don't need TV, and I got a fan base and they're going to be there until we say we're done. Mm -hmm.